Hello everyone, you're watching Changster TV. Hello everyone, welcome to Changster TV. Now, today I'm gonna show you something interesting known as cupping. In the world of coffee, cupping is a technique that is used by producers and buyers all over the world. What it's used for is to it is used to check the quality of the batch of coffee and also it is used to give score to the for the aspects of the coffee. Now I'm I'm not gonna be too too specific and tell you what those aspects are. Anyway, what I'm gonna do today, I'm I am gonna show you how to do cupping, but in a really simple way. So before I say anything else, let me show you the coffee I'm gonna use to do cupping. Now, as you can see in front of you here, I have these uh, four cups of coffee. One inside the beaker. This one is uh the this one. It's uh. It's in Korean, right? It says, uh, let's be cafe, cafe time latte. This one's, uh, hazelnut latte. And, uh, this one is the sweet Americano. And this one is just, a uh, mild coffee. Yeah, it's, uh, mild coffee. So, now I'm looking at the informations on the back here. And except this one, all three of them are, like, uh, blend coffee. Because uh, all three of them produced by using two different types of coffee blended together and some other stuff so what I'm gonna do right now is first taste each of the coffee and then tell you what it tastes like so here I go okay this one's a uh, uh, Americano but it's uh, a really a bit more on the how do I say this up uh, it's a bit more on the lighter side when it comes to taste. So when we normally when we taste the normal espresso, we know how like uh, sour it is. But it's like, but there's a reason why it's called a sweet americano because obviously I think it's because of the sugar that it tastes uh, more like on the light side. It tastes a bit sweet, a bit sweet, and then it hardly has like the sour sour taste. And let's see. What this one tastes like oh yeah this one this one I can I can definitely tell that the first the minute it reaches my tongue I can definitely tell that it has the hazelnut in it because you know it's called a hazelnut latte but after the hazelnut taste goes away I can taste a bit of the milk they put in here like it's uh it has milk but it also tastes like more like a foamy foamy or steamy milk kind and let's see what this one tastes like Mm. Okay, as for the mild coffee here, this one just uh, reminds, for some reason, it just reminds me of mixed coffee that is sold in Korea. So, like the the one of the mixed coffee known as uh, French Cafe, and uh, it has a similar taste to this one, at least the way I see it. Now, as for the last one. Okay, I I believe this one here. This one here has kind of it certainly has like a unique taste because even though it's a latte it feels like it already has some syrup in it some sort of syrup in it i can't tell if it, if they just put like uh some random syrup or they specifically put like a or something like chocolate milk or chocolate syrup in there because it, for some reason it really like instead of coffee it kind of reminds me of chocolate milk <laughs> okay now that's done now what I'm gonna now what I'm gonna do is blind testing. So I'm gonna put a blindfold on, and then I'm gonna see if I can guess the right order of coffee. You know, after I taste them all. Okay. Let's see. The blindfold is on, and uh, let me. Okay. Uh, first, I'm gonna mix the order with this. <laughs> to excuse me for mix, you know, mixing them really slow. Since I don't have anyone to mix the order of coffee for me, it's kind of hard for me to <laughs> mix it up. So, do excuse me for being really slow right now because I don't want to really spill any of these. Anyway, let's get it started right now. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay, I think I know what number one is. Okay, 
Taste number two. Hmm. Oh yeah, okay. Now I'm got the first one the first one I tasted was I don't know if you can see through the screen but it was the first one was this one and then second was this and then third one was this one and then the the other one was this one. So anyway, the order is I think the first one was hazelnut and the second one was latte and then the third one was the mild coffee. And then the fourth one, uh, the sweet Americano. And let me, and now, now I'm gonna taste off, take off my blindfold. And let's see if I guess that right. So this one was number one, two, three, four. Um, yeah, it looks like I got it right. Now that one, now that was a bit tricky. <laughs> Because of the all three of them, I feel I feel like I I tasted the same drink like two two or three times, and then and then I feel like I ate some kind of potato chip <laughs> to get rid of the taste. But uh, yeah, that was it. For, that was it for today. And uh, before I uh, before I wrap it up, I'm gonna tell you ahead of time what my next content uh, is going to be. When I when I do cupping again, when I do cupping again, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is. I'm not gonna do it like how I did today. There's one. There's no no blind testing for the cupping I'm gonna do next time. I can definitely tell you that. What I'm gonna do is basically I'm gonna do it like how I told you the first time. I'm gonna first uh, check the quality of the coffee and then give score to the aspects of coffee. And I'm gonna tell you what aspects of the coffee you need to give score to. And so that's what I'm gonna tell you for the next content. So do look forward to that. And if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below, and I'm, and I'm gonna answer it to the best of my abilities. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. And also, leave a comment down in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.